is now unofficially underway, which means it's time for gatherings and parties. So before those invites start coming, we are going to brush up on our manners. And here with a refresher is etiquette expert Mika Meyer. Good morning. How are Good you? Good morning. Good morning. Good, Good morning. Thank you. So now's the time of year you're invited to barbecues and weddings and showers and all this kind of stuff. So what's the proper etiquette when it comes to RSVPing? All right. So if it's a like a formal event, dinner party, you want to give at least 48 hours notice because they have the food, they've got the drinks, they've got everything. And maybe they used your spot that they could have given to somebody else. So yeah. it's it's always, as soon as you know to RSVP, make sure you send it in. If you've got, um, always go. If, you've, if you sent yeah. that RSVP, you have to show up. Okay. If you didn't, you know, decline at some point. And also be careful that you don't ever bring a plus one if you weren't invited. With mm, a plus one. That's and fair. what about bringing a, a gift? A, a bottle of wine? Seems like that's what everybody's bringing. So that's the rule. Never show up empty handed. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It could be anything from a baked good. It could be a baked something that you're really Love good that. at baking or making. <laughs> it could be anything like that. But interestingly, the number one host gift is a candle. Really? I was going to say that. Mm -hmm. I believe that though. And yeah. I always like yeah. them. Yeah. Okay. So this next one is tricky. Let's say you're getting coffee with a friend or maybe you're grabbing dinner and they're running late. When can you say, you know what? I'm out. <laughs> what would your, what would your Line I, well, I, I would like, like they said, 15 minutes, but I, yeah. I also get worried I start reaching out to people. Yeah, is that the first that step? Wrong. That's the first step. I think at 15 minutes, then just a little check in, a call or a text. Hi, just checking yeah, in. Still good? And if by 20 <laughs> minutes there's no communication, I think that's that that's your cue to say, okay. getting ready to pack up. I hope everything's okay. Yeah. You know, rain 20 check. minutes with no contact. Right? Yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah exactly. Yeah. All right, okay. let, let's move on to phone etiquette and texting, Micah. So, so how long do you have before? before you've got to respond to either a text or an email. Okay, so there's a new this survey that came out that said within three minutes, 90% of people read their text messages. It's what? true. Yep, wow. but you want to make sure, you, you shouldn't feel pressure to, to write back yeah. so fast. And uh, I forget. I you know. forget, I know. And sometimes it's just a little acknowledge. It's the thumbs up. It's the heart might be perfect. Or within 24 hours, whenever you can, is a pretty normal time to respond. See, I just think if people just pick up the phone and call. And call. Life would be so much easier. If it's urgent, you should just call. I think yeah, people yeah. get shocked by a phone call nowadays. <laughs> what? Why are you calling? Yeah. Yes. What about emails? I mean, you do have off time from work, but I feel like the emails come in and you feel like you need to respond right away. I know. I, I, I think so, too. And I think at the, you just have to know your position, your company, what's expected. But I also think, again, it's, you know, it's sometimes it's, it's on your own time. You shouldn't mm -hmm. feel that instant, I need to write back right away. But yeah, email is the number one method of communication um, nowadays within business. So yeah, I think yeah. you just have to kind of feel out your, your position at okay. work. This next one is interesting. So we're talking about what to wear. It's warmer outside, but a yeah. quick refresh, let's say, about what you're supposed to wear to work. <laughs> okay, so believe it or not, the big question is, are sneakers okay? White sneakers for mm. summer, right? So they actually, in many office places, especially casual Fridays, white sneakers are fine, but there's a difference between white sneakers and athletic trainers. Mm -hmm. Big okay. difference. Um, and you just have to know your company, your culture. Mm. Maybe white sneakers are not appropriate at all. Um, and then also the tie... Al, you're not going to like this one, but but for many companies nowadays, the yeah. tie is dead. And you know what's replaced it? The blazer. Like a nice fitted blazer? A fitted blazer because it's gender neutral. You can put it on, off, but it depends on your work environment because a bank might or a law firm might demand a tie still. So you have yeah. to know your, yeah, your but Even if you go to the bank now, a lot of the guys aren't wearing a tie. You know, exactly. like, how do I know if you even work here? I don't know. It's still a sign of professionalism. Yeah, yeah I love definitely. What the, here's the thing. Uh, you know, when you go out, and you get, or you get an invitation. And I, my wife and I have this argument. She'll tell tell people, well, maybe, yeah, maybe. Now, you know we're not going, <laughs> but you give them hope. I say just cut it off. <laughs> so just you always say it. no. Say, yeah, we're not going. I think you, the moment you know if you can or can't go, you, you should RCP and you should say no because you don't want to give hope. It's true. Yeah. I, think I just to have say, to say no. I learned that from you. And then you I just get away. to keep no. hope alive in this case. Exactly. Just alive. say no. I think that's the best etiquette right there for yeah. sure. Yeah. Micah, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.